So as I said in the previous clip, you need to have an antenna that covers all of those bands right from the word go. But the most interesting thing about LTE antennas or LTE communications are that you need two antennas, at least two antennas. Later systems may require more, but at the moment two antennas are required to achieve LTE performance. Now that's very interesting. First time in the history of radio comms that you actually needed two antennas. People have used two antennas often to get past some obstacles. But with LTE, which is a MIMO system, which stands for multi-input, multi-output, in order to get the high data rates, you actually need to have two antennas available or two antenna ports. And those two antennas need to be, as they call it, isolated or uncorrelated with each other. Now, the first way you can get that is you take an antenna like this. This is a lock periodic antenna, uh, which covers all of the bands. That's why it's got the narrow end and the big end at this side. And you can combine two of them in some interesting ways. So if I just take out another one, out of the box here. These are just a nice easy one to handle. You could do it with some of the bigger antennas like the guy lying here, but it's not easy to demonstrate on a video. And we've made, for example, a special bracket. The bracket sits here on this antenna. And with the same bracket on this guy here, you can mount them exactly like this using one bracket. In other words, if you look at it sideways, it looks like this. And you can see that these two guys are now polarized um, 90 degrees to each other and they're sitting sort of plus minus 45 degree angles and they're held by a single bracket. The bracket was actually designed uh, so that you can do that. So that's the one solution to using two antennas where you haven't got a dedicated or integrated two antenna solution. You can of course do the same thing with for example the bigger guy here and for the bigger guy here we designed a special bracket so you can mount the one sort of vertically and the other one horizontally whereas they normally always were mounted vertically. Then you can also instead of changing the polarization up if you use, for example, an uh, omni antenna, and I think I've explained this omni antenna um, some time ago, all of these omni antennas are now um, customized, so they cover all of the frequency bands. You can put two of these next to each other. Now, people ask me how far apart. The quick answer is about a, a meter to a meter and a half apart, but it really actually depends on the amount of multipath that you're likely to get. So in a city environment, they can be a little bit closer, and if it's in an outdoors environment, I would take them up to three meters apart to get sort of real nice uh, MIMO performance. If you take even an indoors, you can take two of those little desk mounted antennas and you can put them and I would put them indoors, you can be much closer. So indoors, even if you're about half a meter apart. And that would be, for example, our Omni 39, this little guy here, which you often plug into a modem. And note, your LTE modem is actually gonna come out with two antenna ports. You better put something on each of those antenna ports. We'll still work with one antenna, but you won't get nearly the type of speeds that you will get with the, um, uh, the two ports. Uh, we've seen examples, for example, in Sweden, where the guys see about a three, four times increase in the down link speed when they put that second antenna on compared to the first antenna. But even for desktop use, you take one here, put one here, and there they can be much closer. I would say even this far apart, uh, you'd still get good MIMO performance. That's just because the reflections in an indoor environment comes from sharp angles and they are well decorrelated even when they are fairly close together. And that's the way that you can do it with, um, with separate antennas. By the way, even DAS systems where you mount against the roof, uh, you can put two systems in. That just requires and starts looking a little bit ugly. So we are at the moment starting to develop a DAS antenna that will actually have two inputs so you don't have to put uh, two antennas for every uh, access point that you've got in a building. The next solution, which is the more elegant one, is we actually design two antennas inside one enclosure. This is our first version of such an antenna. We call it x pole one And inside here, there's two fairly omnidirectional antennas and um, polarized uh, 45 degrees relative to each other. And you can see what comes out here are two cables. Um, this is just a prototype. The real one that sits in this box here comes with uh, five meters of cable and this can go all the way down and connect to the modem. So in this case, you must always look, if you, if you look and you see two, two actual cables, uh, one can sometimes find these comp cables combined next to each other. Um, then you know that it's a true LTE MIMO antenna. In other words, one that actually contains two antennas inside the box. So those are the three things in terms of antennas. So first, your antenna, you can use single antenna, but then it must cover the frequency band. Better to use two antennas, because then you start getting the MIMO performance. And when you haven't got these antennas yet, you can use any of the old antennas, which covers the full band, and use them either 45 degrees to each other polarization-wise, or separate them in space by some distance in order to give you two antennas. And then lastly, 
you should start thinking about getting hold of these type of antennas, uh, which integrates the two antennas into a single enclosure. But that's obviously all, only if you already got an LTE modem. In many cases, people are putting up antennas for current 3.5G modems. Then it's better to still use a guy like this. And if someone later on connects an LTE modem to it, it will still work. But then you should start changing over to either two antennas or to an integrated dual antenna like this type of unit.